Hello developers, welcome back. In the last video of the Laravel Eloquent Relationship series, we have seen the has many through relationship. What we have implemented in that video, we had a three tables, projects, user and task. This user table has project ID. So this user belongs to this project and a project may have many users. Similarly, this task table has user ID. So this task belongs to user and user may have many tasks and we have implemented the project and task relationship using intermediate table users with the help of Laravel has many through relationship. Now let's see another case. Right now this user has project ID so it belongs to only one project and this project may have many users. So right now it is one to many relationship. So what if this user also belongs to many projects and this project may have many users. It is many to many relationship. In that case we will need third intermediate pivot table to create relationship between user and project. So let's say we have a pivot table project user and this project user will have this project ID and user ID. So now using this pivot table, a user may belongs to many projects and a project may belongs to many users. Now what about the relationship between projects and tasks? Because in this users table, project ID no longer exists. So we cannot use this user table as an intermediate table to create relation between project and task. So how we can implement relationship between project and task? For that, we will use this pivot table as an intermediate model in the has many through relationship for the project and task relationship. So first, let's implement the many to many relationship between projects and users. So first here I'll create this project user table. So in the terminal php artisan make migration create project user table and here I'll pass table name project user. Now in the editor in the database migrations here is the new table project user. And in the user table, here we have a project ID column. I'm going to remove it from here and and I will paste that in the project user table. And next column I will add user ID. Now let's close this and in next in the app project model. Now because project and user has many to many relationship. So here we will not use has many relationship instead here we will use belongs to many. Similarly in the in the user model right here here we will say method name projects and it belongs to many projects. Let's create some project and users. So in the routes web.php here I create dollar project one is equal to project create and title is project A and similarly I create project project B and next I'll create user one name is Let's say user A email is user E at example.com and password hash make password. Let's create second user user B and user b at example.com and user 3 user c now here i'll attach dollar project 1 users attach dollar user 1 and dollar user 2 and dollar user 3 
नेक्स्ट है एल से प्रोजेक्ट टू यूजर्स अटैच डॉलर यूजर वन एंड आई विल अटैच यूजर थ्री सो वट हेयर वी आर डूइंग हेयर वी हैव क्रिएटेड टू प्रोजेक्ट एंड थ्री यूजर्स फॉर द फर्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव अटैच ऑल थ्री यूजर्स एंड इन दी सेकेंड प्रोजेक्ट वी हैव अटैच यूजर वन एंड यूजर थ्री नाउ लेट सी इन दी ब्राउजर सो फर्स्ट इन दी टर्मिनल I will run PHP Artisan migrate fresh to migrate newly created table. Now let's navigate to projects. Now it should have created the tables in the database. Now in the database, in the users table, we have three users, and in projects we have two projects. Next in the project users table, we have project ID and users ID. So now let's remove this. And here I'll say project one is equal to project point user ID one. And let's return dollar project one users. And in the browser refresh. And here we go. We have three users for project one, user ID one, two, and three. And for project ID two, it should return two users. Let's see. and here we go we get the two users the user id 1 and user id 3 similarly for user user find user id 1 and here i'll return dollar user projects a user id 1 belongs to both projects so it should return two projects and project 1 and 2 and for user 2 it should return only one project and this is project id 1 and user 3 should return to project and here it is project id 1 and project id 2 next we will create relationship between project and task in the previous video we have created the project and task relationship using as many through relationship with the help of user intermediate model and now this is not going to work because in the user table this project id column no longer exist so instead of this user model we need to create a pivot model for this project user pivot table and that pivot table will be used right here as intermediate model so let's create the pivot model for this project user table so in the terminal here i'll say php artisan make model let's say our pivot model name is team and in the app team now right here i will extend this team model with the pivot class and next here i'll say protected table is project user and now in the project model here i will replace user model with team pivot model now let's see if it works or not so in the web.php let's create some task so task create let's say title is task a user id let's say user id is 1 and here task b user id 1 task c user id 2 task d user id 3 now here we have created four task two task belongs to user id 1 and one task belongs to user id 2 and one to user id 3 let's go to browser and refresh now let's see in the table and here we have task records Now let's try the project task relation. Let's see if we can fetch task using project model. So here say project is equal to project model find where user id is one, and next here I'll return project tasks. Now let's go to browser and refresh, and it did not work. We get the SQL error. the unknown column project user id 
it is looking for the id column in the project user table and that is not exist in this table so what is missing in this relationship so let's go to the definition of this as many through relationship and in this relationship you will see that it is accepting one two three four five six parameters and here we have passed five parameters here we have not specified the sixth parameter and laravel assumed it as a id column so what should be the sixth parameter here this project id column is in the pivot table this user id column is in the task table this id column is the local key in the project table and the sixth column is the user id in the pivot table now let's go to browser and refresh now it should work and here we get the four tasks for project one now if we see for project id2 and refresh and here we get the three tasks and the value of this laravel through key is the project id similar like this has many through relationship we can pass same parameter in the has one through relationship so let's paste it here and in the web route here i am going to fetch single task and refresh and it will give us single task object to verify it let's dump this here it is app task this is all in this lesson. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe us. See you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.